What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Laracuente here for the Baseball Banter broadcast. And on this broadcast, we are going to be bantering about three candidates who could be the National League Comeback Player of the Year in 2023. Now, before I get into my three candidates, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below as to who could be the National League Comeback Player of the Year for the 2023 season. Now, let's get into my first selection. Now, we're going to run through this order alphabetically, so we begin with Cody Bellinger. I think that when you look at what Bellinger is going to be for the Chicago Cubs, a change of scenery, a different hitting philosophy, a different mentality in terms of how the coaching staff is going to deal with with Bellinger. I also think that for Cody, he is now going to finally be healthy after a couple of seasons removed from the shoulder injury that kind of hampered and hindered his swing. I think that going into 2023, this is a candidate who absolutely has all the makings and all the potential to be not just the comeback player of the year, but also get back to that MVP caliber form. I also think that for a Cubs team that is at the precipice of really jumping into a real contendership race in the National League Central Division, as well as the National League postseason picture as a whole, Cody Bellinger is a huge deal for the Chicago Cubs and in his own right is a potential candidate for comeback player of the year. Now, second on my list is Joey Votto. I think that Votto has long been a sabermetric darling. And as he has evolved and grown older, he has changed up his approach a little bit. But there's no doubt about it that injuries played a big factor in his season in 2022. So going into the 2023 campaign, now a little bit more rested because of having stopped playing in 2022 because of injury. I think Votto has an opportunity to kind of revitalize his career, revitalize, revamp himself a little bit more and get back to being the player that was once an MVP player in the National League division. I also think that there's going to be an opportunity for Votto with a lot less pressure on him to kind of just go out and play his game. And I think that that's going to give him an opportunity and afford him the ability to go out and win the National League Comeback Player of the Year. Now, number three on my list is a newly imported member to the National League, and that is Jesse Winker. I think that Winker had a down season in 2022 by all metrics and marks so going into the 2023 campaign getting back to a division where he's comfortable and familiar getting back to a league where he's comfortable and familiar this to me is going to be an opportune and a prime spot for jesse winker to jump back into being an all-star level player i think that there's going to be a lot to like about him in that brewers lineup i think there's going to be a good fit for him in those ballparks in that national league central division as compared to some of the more expansive parks more pitcher friendly parks that were in in the American League West. This to me is going to be a very, very prime candidate for comeback player of the year. But I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts, your feelings down in the comment section below or find me over on Twitter at banter underscore baseball where we can keep the conversation rolling about who you believe could be the National League comeback player of the year. If you want to show support for us here, follow us on our social media channels, TikTok and and our Instagram pages at Baseball Banter Broadcast. You can find us again at Twitter, banter underscore baseball. If you want to show more support, head over to LaTaCuenteLedger.com as we do cover the world of Major League Baseball as well as other things on a daily basis. And if you want to show even more support, head over to BaseballBanterBroadcast.com. It is our merchandise shop. We have a ton of different merch throughout the course of the site and promo codes that you could use to save on that banter merch. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed, please do me that favor. Hit the subscribe button and the bell for post notifications as more than 95% of our audience is not actually subscribed to the channel. So if you're enjoying the baseball coverage here that you get from the baseball banter broadcast, the anecdotal notes, the different statistical metrics that I bring up here on the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, join this baseball family, this baseball community that we're building here and help us continue to grow. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you guys on the next broadcast when we banter about the world of baseball. Peace.